So we're going to take a walk around the back. I want to show you a different view of it. Um, first, you can see how thick the metal is. Um, this is just freaking enormous. Let's walk up here. So there's my hand. Regular size large gloves. That is a massive chunk of steel. That's not hollow. That is some massive steel. Here's the weld. Look at that weld. <laughs> it's some monster work. It took uh, three steel companies, U.S. Steel and a couple others, uh, to put this baby together. It's got a big hollow space underneath. Usually pretty clean. A little bit of stuff blows under there in the when the wind blows. So we're stepping back to take a slightly different view of this beautiful beast. So on the back, these look like angel wings almost. So what look like insect wings on the front look actually like angel wings on the back. Now we'll just move around a little bit to a three-quarter view. Uh, and this is not a view that most people bother to look at. And as you see now, see her face? There's the girl. See her lips and her nose and her hair? You're getting a view of this that most people don't bother. So right there is her nose, there's her lips, there's her chin. These are her shoulders and her hair coming down. So I think the family had it correct. This is that girl, that, that beautiful 19-year-old girl that uh, inspired Picasso. I mean, that's a pretty clear, pretty clear, clear profile there. From this side, it's beautiful. From the front, it's kind of weird looking. Mike Royko, <laughs> Mike Royko was a uh, curmudgeonly uh, journalist in Chicago um, wrote a scathing book about Mayor Daley, the first Mayor Daley, called Boss. Um, he said, it looks like an insect about to eat a bigger insect, or about to eat a smaller insect. And he saw the eyes, and he said that the eyes reminded him so that's the nose down in the bottom it was what he was what he was talking about is the nose there and then the eyes up at the top so he said the beady eyes were like those of a uh, slumlord or of every inspector building inspector that allowed the slums to exist uh, he had a sort of unique unique view of the world um, to me this thing is uh, it's really beautiful. I like the way that people interact with it. It's really a part of Chicago. Um, Picasso wouldn't take payment for it. Uh, several large foundations uh, came up with $100,000 back in 1967. That was big money. And they offered to pay him, but he said he wanted to make it a gift. That he didn't accept um, commissions for his work. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't commission him to do it. He did it as a gift. Um, it has some beautiful lines when you look at it the right way. Uh, it's a little kind of weird looking in the beginning when you look at it from the front, which is how most of the tourists see it. Um, before I went to law school, I was actually in art school, and uh, we came out here with one of our professors, and uh, when she showed us this uh, view of the side of the, of the sculpture, there was an audible gasp. <laughs> we were just shocked. We'd lived with this thing for all these years and no one had ever pointed it out. Now this side, this is the opposite side that we saw before. It's a little hard to see it. It's why I went to the other side first because of the color of the building behind it. Um, it is uh, quite a treasure and I'm really glad we have it here.